Welcome to the Intuitive Websites Internet Marketing Podcast, bringing you the country's top podcast on the subject of internet marketing. I'm your host, Glenn Thayer, and today we're going to discuss podcasting on the internet. I'm here with CEO of Intuitive Websites, Tom Young, and web marketing guru, Dennis McCarthy. Gentlemen, why does a business need a podcast? Why does a business need a podcast? What a great question. I, you know, we've been talking about all of these these uh, social uh, networking web 2.0 type of things, and I think that's a good question to ask. Why does a business need the, these things? Well, I think a business needs a podcast because of multitasking. And, and here's the, the reason but behind But people this. aren't doing enough multitasking <laughs> as it is. People – it's amazing. People know that if they're going to be more productive, they've got to multitask, and we do it all the time. I know I multitask like crazy. Podcasts allow you to do that. You can have the audio running in the background. You don't have to look at anything. It's not a video. You have the audio running in the background. You can be listening to information, and you can still be checking your email and doing other things you need to do. Um, that's, when I, that's why I think podcasting has, has stayed popular and it's doing so well. It also can be listened to in the car while you drive. While you're working out. While you're working out. It goes directly to your, to your iPod, to your MP3 player. Um, and, and another major reason why businesses need, need podcasts is iTunes. And, uh, you know, we don't, iTunes is why businesses need podcasts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, people, people don't realize this, but iTunes is a website. Now, it's a different kind of website. It's a self-contained website within a, its own browser, which you have to download, right? But it's a website. And the, uh, the products coming out of Apple, like iPods and, and iPhones, hundreds of millions of people have these products. And I want to say that again. Hundreds of millions of people have these products, not millions, hundreds of millions. In fact, they, sell a hun- they could sell 100 million of these things in three months, these different devices. All of those devices are connected to iTunes. Within iTunes is a place called Podcasts. Within Podcasts is a place called Business Podcasts. It's absolutely free. You can find our podcast there, and, and you should have your podcast there. So, I mean – Got it. That's what this, I was trying to get with iTunes. Is, and I'm like, got it. Their content delivery system. It is. There we go. Absolutely. That's... To hundreds of millions of people. In fact, I think that, that if iTunes was on the Alexa.com ratings, it would certainly be a top three. And maybe it may be top – it may be first, maybe you're second to Google. But, but you know, we've talked about in other podcasts the idea of getting content out there, branding yourself online, and doing things that are cost effective. Well, you can get – you know your 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 podcast out to potentially hundreds of millions or, or even thousands, let's say, within your target market. You should be doing it. Well, think about what's happened in in our lifetime, Tom. When you were a kid growing up, what were your choices for audio content? Oh, the LP. Yes, LP, the record album, the radio, and what the we, radio. What were your choices the for Welcome Back, Cotter record player? What were your choices if you, if you had been interested in information based audio content? What what would your choices have been? Well, there weren't. Any. There were none, right? There were none. And then no, all of a sudden, it. they invented the CD, and audiobooks became part of the deal, right? But now, and, and we've had radio, and we've got satellite radio. Now you can you can get audio content on any subject you're interested in. Instantly through iTunes on your iPod, driving around in your car. That's a revolution. It is, and in the concept of the RSS feed, where you can subscribe to the content. So once you decide this is content you want, it it comes to your device on a regular basis. Now, what type of information should be put into the podcast? Well, it, it, once again, this this depends on the business that you have and the strategy that you have. If you're if you're a consultant and you're offering service bases or service uh, uh, services in general. All of that content that you're that you're doing in your work, you can build lots of podcasts on that. If you have products, especially high tech products, there's a lot you can talk about uh, in a podcast about your products and about how they're used in the marketplace. So, really? if you already have your blog set up, you would recommend doing a podcast based on your blog. People don't realize oh, that yeah. a blog and a podcast are really the same thing. If you have a blog and you add MP3 files to it, you have a podcast, and a lot of people don't even know that. Yeah. Absolutely. And in the podcast, there's also – there's different places other than iTunes. You can go to podcast.com, uh, podcastalley.com, and these, these sites get lots of visitors. And, and you can post your, your audio content there too. Well, I know a big thing that a, a lot of listeners are going to do is, well, I don't have the technology to do a podcast. <laughs> so well, what would you say to them? It's actually a good point. I mean we, we use uh, the, the MacBook Pro computer. We use a program called GarageBand. That comes free with with the the MacBook computers and it's running right now. In fact, and GarageBand can record the podcast 
and 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 you know do all the, the things it needs to do to, to end up with an MP3 of the podcast, which can then be distributed all over the web. And then you can put music on the front and the back of it, and you know we recommend that you hire. Some sort of an announcer to help with the podcast. <laughs> yeah, where can we somebody, find that guy? Somebody with a silky voice. Yeah, yeah. Well, and if you're on a PC, something to note though: if you aren't using a P- if you are not using a Mac and you're still using a PC, uh, you can download Audacity for free. Oh, there you go. Okay, um, yeah. I think it's a u d i c i t y dot com. You can download it for free. They have it for Mac and for PC. Yeah, and, and it's it, a free it's a free it's free software that you can record with, and you can even use if you've got uh, your little headset, you can plug your headset, or use a cheap little uh, podcast microphone, you know, yeah, USB microphone, a or USB something. microphone. That's important. Use USB headset, you know, something like that. If you're invest doing invest in yourself. the microphone, definitely right. Well, the thing is, you don't need a, a recording studio to do a podcast. You don't need to go to a TV station or a radio station. You can do it in your living room. Do it in your office. You, I, I do recommend that, that you get a decent USB microphone because you don't want it to, to lose its quality over time or to sound fuzzy or whatever. So the bottom line is you get a good microphone. You make the recording. You try to put some music on the front and the back. You probably use a professional announcer if you can afford it. And, then, and you can do that. And there's a lot of people that can you can hire to find that. If you wanted a little tag, a custom tag for the opening of your show and for the closing of your show, you can go to websites like Voices.com, Voice123.com. There's a lot of places that you can go so out. So we and don't go, we don't really need you. Here's what I want. You don't need me. No, you don't. Not at all. <laughs> so then you save but it. But what would it be? What would what would the intuitive websites, internet marketing podcast be without your host? That that, <laughs> that tip was so valuable to us. We're going to keep you around. <laughs> <laughs> so then you save it as an MP3 file. You upload it. You attach it to your WordPress blog, for example. We talked about blogging in our last podcast, and um, you're pretty much up and rolling. Now, what's the difference between an audio podcast and a video podcast? Because I know some of our listeners are going to go, "Well, what about video podcasting?" Yeah, the, the, the big thing we like the, the regular audio podcasts, like you're listening to now, because you can multitask. You can do this in your car, or whatever. And, and you know that, that we could show you things on websites as we did this. But we think it's much better for you to take the information in and go back and visit the websites and on your own time find what's, you know, what's important to you on those sites. Uh, I think that, that video uh, podcasts really do well when you have to show something. Like if you're doing real estate and you want to show a tour of the home or whatever, you've, you've got to do the video at that point. But I think for, the most, for most of our clients, for most businesses out there, you'll be fine with audio. Otherwise, you don't want to watch a talking head on your iPod. You're just watching it. <laughs> right, right. You can see pictures of us on our website, and that's fine. Well, we end each of these podcasts with an action plan. So from our podcast to your podcast, what are the key action items for the listener this week? Well, the first thing is to make the your podcast stra- strategy part of your overall content distribution on the web and through your website. And, and, and get the equipment that you need. If you have a PC... Download the right software, get a basic USB microphone, and start experimenting with with podcasting. Do a trial run and and and, and see how it goes. Um, just a couple pointers that'll make it this go really smooth for you. Prepare an outline. We do that with our podcast. We we have an outline ready to go with the key points we want to cover. Um, we we have a pretty laid back recording environment. We use a microphone for each person that's involved, and we have a sense of what we want to talk about. We also, when we set the podcast up on our blog, we put the key uh, points from the podcast in writing as well, and we also have links to the sites we've mentioned. Um, and then, and of course, if you don't have the blog set up, set up your blog and make sure your podcast is included in your blog. Well, folks, you've heard it. This has been the Intuitive Websites Internet Marketing Podcast, and for more information and to see all the available podcasts and much more, visit intuitivewebsites.com. <laughs>